Hi everyone, a few weeks ago we brought the announcement of a new USB microphone and today I'm very excited to actually have said microphone with me in the flesh. Um, this little guy here is the AKG Lyra, which is an Ultra HD multi-mode USB microphone. Yes, it's a little bit of a mouthful, but there's some pretty awesome technology under the hood with this mic. Um, but, you know, not getting too complex. It's actually very, very user-friendly, plug-and-play sort of style uh, with, you know, multiple modes, lots of uh, great features readily available on the actual unit. So let's have a look at the front panel. So we've got a knob here for controlling your output, which is great, so you can just adjust that on the fly. We've got a mute button there, which lights up. So that's sort of great if you're, uh, if you're doing like a live stream and you want to cut to some music, then you can just mute the mic straight away and, uh, and then, you know, introduce it back in. Nice little feature. And on the back, we've got another couple of knobs. We've got uh, an input or sort of mic gain control. And then we have a four position switch, which actually goes through all of our different modes on the front. So, what do these modes do? So for those who, you know, don't enjoy the jargon of uh, all the technical sort of uh, polar patterns and stuff like that, this is going to be really ideal. Um, so, the first mode is front, and that allows the, basically only the front of the mic to sort of pick up. So you're getting nice sort of isolation, cancellation on, on the sort of back and sides. So great for a single voiceover, you know, for a podcast, uh, vloggers and that sort of thing. Um, or a single instrument as well. So sort of, it's not limited to, to just your voice. Um, our second mode is front and back. And that's basically picking up from the front and the back of the microphone. So like an omnidirectional polar pattern. Uh, and what that allows, you know, you to do is have, you know, a, a voice from the front and from the back that's sort of equally uh, picked up and, you know, a little bit of room ambience as well. So you could also use this in a, in a jam session type of situation uh, for, you know, picking up multiple sound sources at one particular time and have the mic just sort of plonked in the middle. The, our next mode is tight stereo. Now I should actually mention uh, before going into this, we've got four individual um, mic capsules underneath the grill. So we've got two in the front and two at the back. So what that actually allows you to do is have all of these different arrays uh, catch you, capture genuinely instead of having to introduce any extra digital modeling or processing and that sort of thing. So the tight stereo mode uses the two front capsules so you can get a nice sort of detailed rich stereo sound just from the front so again you can use that for uh, voiceovers um, and also capturing instruments as well so great for an acoustic guitar for example if you wanted to get a nice sort of rich um, stereo image mm -hmm. and lastly we've got wide stereo mode so that utilizes all four of the capsules the two at the front and the two at the back and um, you can use that for, again, like ambient recording, if you're taking this out on the road with you, uh, for jam sessions, so multiple source material, and uh, you know, dual voiceovers as well. So if you're doing you know, sort of face-to-face -face interviews, um, that's a really, really great mode for that. Then if we uh, have a look on the bottom here, we've got our 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone output, and we've got our USB Type-C connection, which is running straight into my laptop here. So it's a really, really nice and simple, well-designed. I mean, looking at it, I, th I think it's great. It's uh, a nice sort of sturdy desktop stand, which it comes with. Uh, you can also remove it from the stand and mount it on a, on a traditional microphone stand, if that's your thing. Um, it reminds me of like, a, like an older sort of 50s sort of ribbon microphone something that maybe Elvis or someone would, uh, would sing into, but it's also distinctly sort of modern in its aesthetic as well. So they don't seem to have cut any corners here with its design and, um, and its feature set. Um, it also comes bundled with Ableton Live Lite, so for those who don't already have a preferred uh, DAW or Digital Audio Workstation, uh, that's already included so you can get recording straight away. Uh, it's compatible with Mac, PC, uh, iOS and Android devices so you can record with your phone or with the computer um, and yeah just need to be running the 
the sort of later operating systems on those devices for it to uh, be compatible. Um, I've had a really good time uh, getting to try this this microphone out. I think it sounds great. It's easy to use. It doesn't sort of get caught up in a lot of the technical stuff, but you've got a really great mic, which is perfectly suited for a lot of different applications. Definitely aimed at the content creators. So for the podcasters, vloggers, gamers out there, this is definitely worth checking out. Um, but also a great uh, companion for any musician that's uh, needing to record on the go uh, without having to worry about all the technical stuff with audio interfaces and extra cabling and all that sort of stuff. So given its uh, feature set, you know, multi-modes, wide variety of applications, and at its price point, um, yeah, the Lyra is a bit of a no-brainer for us. It's a, you know, a, a really, really great, well-designed product, easy to use, plug and play. Um, yeah, I think it'll, I think it's gonna do pretty well for, uh, you know, both your content creators and also musicians alike, so. Yeah, thumbs up from us. Um, for more information and tech specs, hit the links below. Thanks again for watching.